In this video, I will show you how to install Docker on Debian 12. We'll begin by installing the Docker engine from the official repository, and then we'll test the setup by running a container to make sure everything works. To install Docker on Debian, you just need to run these three commands. The first command uninstalls any previous Docker installations. The next two commands download the installation script from docker.com and install the Docker engine on your computer. Okay, the installation is complete, and at the end you might see a suggestion to run a script to enable Docker rootless mode. What this does is set up Docker to run without root privileges, which can improve security in certain cases. But for now, we don't need to worry about it. It is something you can always do later if needed. Now that Docker is installed, let's verify the installation by checking the Docker version. You can also check the status of the Docker service using the systemctl status command. By default, the service is enabled to start automatically when the system boots. There's one more thing you should do before running containers. That is to configure the Docker command to run without sudo. Right now we have to use sudo every time we run a Docker command, which isn't very convenient. To fix that, what you need to do is add your user to the Docker group. This lets you run Docker commands without needing sudo. After adding the user to the Docker group, the change won't take effect right away. So you'll need to restart the computer for it to apply. After the restart, you can run the group's command to verify that your user is now part of the Docker group. And now we should be able to run the Docker command without sudo. The command I ran is docker ps-a, which shows all containers on this system. Right now we don't have any containers, so next we'll create a new container. We're going to run a container called Hello World. It's a small test container that's designed to confirm your Docker installation is working properly. When the command completes, if you see the hello from Docker message, that means your Docker installation was successful. And now you have Docker up and running on your computer. The next step is learning how to start containers using the docker run command, and we'll cover that in the next video.